What's going on y'all? Today we're gonna to be grilling some red snapper that we caught offshore yesterday. It's gonna be a really simple, easy, awesome recipe. We'll go ahead and show it to y'all right now. To start with, we got our red snapper fillets, beautiful fillets right here. And we just cleaned these on the half shell. So we left the scales on the bottom and that's gonna make it to where we can grill it and not have to worry about our meat sticking to the grill and it's gonna turn out perfect. First thing we're gonna do with this meat is prep a marinade and it's real simple. All we're gonna use is a Ziploc bag, some olive oil and some Kinder's seafood blend. Awesome stuff, you can find it in just about any Walmart. Let's go ahead and prep that marinade. Put us a good amount of olive oil in there. That should do. And we're gonna go heavy with the seafood seasoning. <clears throat> All right, that should be good. Go ahead and drop our fillets in the bag now. Zip that bag up, get the air out of there, as much air as we can. And we're just gonna toss that marinade, making sure we're getting all that meat nice and coated. All right, all right, all right. Boom. All right, so now we got our meat and our marinade. All we're gonna do is put this in the fridge for a few hours this is not something that y'all got to do overnight, a couple of hours, and that seasoning is going to penetrate in that meat perfectly. So that's all we're going to do, put this in the fridge for a few hours, and we'll see y'all when we come back. All right, y'all, so we've just pulled our meat off the marinade. It's been marinating for about three hours or so. We got the grill set up now, and we're sitting uh, about 450 degrees. All we're going to do is set up our charcoal grill push all the coals to one side, get them firing hot, open up the bottom loopers, and turn your top three quarters of the way open. And that's gonna get you somewhere between 400 and 500 degrees. But uh, this fish is ready to go on, y'all. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay the meat side down, right over the top of those coals. And we wanna leave that for about, I don't know, three minutes or so, just trying to uh, lock in some of that flavor and, uh, and sear the top side of that meat. It's been on for about three minutes. Let's get two spatulas in there, make sure we get all the meat that we can get off that grill. And we're gonna move it off to the side. Bam. And we're gonna put on this other piece of snapper we got right here. Snapper fillet number two. Boom. Second one turned out a lot better than the first one. But both of them still gonna be very, very good, y'all. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take that same Kinder seafood blend and we're just gonna make sure that we got a lot of seasoning coated right over the top of it. Should be good right there. Next thing we're gonna do is squirt some lime right on over the top. Make sure we get a lot of lime on top of that fish. Next thing we wanna do is melt a stick of butter and we just wanna go ahead and drizzle that butter over the top of that fish. There you go. Make sure it gets in there real nice. All right. All right, the next step is to take oranges and lime. We're gonna lay it over the top of the fish, let it go for about 12 minutes, and we'll be good to go.
All right, so we got nice orange lime laid down on the fish. Got it going. We're about to put the cover back on it. Let it ride for about 12 minutes, and she's going to be done. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, man, if y'all could smell that. I mean, it just looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright y'all, that's it. We're about to get ready to eat. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. I promise y'all, if y'all try this, you will not be disappointed. I mean, this is just an awesome way to cook snapper. Any kind of fish that's a real thick fillet like a snapper or a grouper or anything like this, this right here is an awesome way to cook it, y'all. Uh, enjoy. If y'all would, leave me a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.